Can you believe that these strawberries aren't real? They're actually made of plaster and in this tutorial I will show you how to make them. You will need some plaster, we used Forum Yips, Alginate, some buckets, water, something to mix the Alginate with, a scale, paint and paint brushes, and of course some real strawberries. Start off by cleaning the strawberries and cutting off the leaves. Then place them in a bucket, but make sure to keep enough space between the individual strawberries. Put them aside for now and start preparing the alginate. Simply combine the powder and the water and mix very well. I think it's easiest to use one of these kitchen mixers for it. The alginate hardens within a few minutes, so you need to move really fast. Pour the alginate carefully over the strawberries and make sure to cover everything. Within 3 to 5 minutes the alginate will turn from pink to white. The white color indicates that it is completely hard. Turn the bucket upside down and gently squeeze the sides until the strawberry cast falls down. Now it's time for some surgery. Carefully separate the strawberries from the alginate. Trust me, it gets easier with every strawberry. One of them decided to float up in the alginate. That's not a problem. Just cut into the alginate until you see it. Once you have removed all the strawberries from the mold, wash it and let it dry. Now you'll need to combine the plaster with some water. Then mix it very well. For this little amount, I just used my hands. Fill the plaster into the mold, but not all the way up yet. Leave a little bit of room. Hit the bucket onto the table a couple of times. Like this you minimize possible air bubbles and ensure the plaster fills out the molds completely. Now you can fill up the rest of the mold. Let it harden for some hours or overnight and then take the mold out of the bucket. Now you can remove the alginate and see your everlasting strawberries for the very first time. Don't worry if there are some irregularities or bumps, we will take care of that in the next step. You can take any kind of brush and clean up the strawberries a bit. With a knife you can cut off some bubbles that sometimes appear on the surface of plaster. And with some sandpaper you can smoothen out some edges if you want to. The last step is painting our strawberries. I took a photo of my strawberries before that I took for reference of the color. Just mix your desired color and you're ready to go. Start by adding a base layer of red. We will add some more details later. Once the base layer has dried, you can add a tiny bit of a yellowish color on top of the strawberries. Use the dry brush technique and take a tiny amount of paint onto a dry brush. Then dab it onto the strawberries. The very last part is adding color to the tiny seeds of the strawberries. This step takes quite some time and precision, so turn on your favorite podcast or audiobook while you're doing that. I think the end result is really worth it. Now you have delicious looking strawberries that will basically last forever and are perfect for decorations.